Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that's been requested quite a bit, actually. It is uh, canvas bags, but we're going to make them from like magical shops from places in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley and stuff like that. This is going to be a pretty simple one to do. Um, there are two different methods. I'll go over both of those briefly. Um, and also, there's no printing in this tutorial, which is strange. But yeah, that's how it is. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more Harry Potter DIYs just like this one. But let's get into this tutorial. So here's all the stuff you're going to need. Um, I got all of these blank canvas bags in a bunch of different colors on Amazon. I'll obviously link this and everything else in the description box below. And then I've got a piece of cloth underneath. It doesn't matter what this looks like. It's just because we're going to be doing some ironing and I didn't want to do it directly on my table. Um, and then we need one of two things. So the method I'm doing right here is on the Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, um, you're going to want to get some heat transfer paper uh, for like transferring images to shirts and then you'll just be able to iron them on pretty much the same way you just want you're going to want to skip the cutting and cricket part of this tutorial which is about to happen you just want to find colors that you want that will match the bags in some way and be themed for the shop that you're doing i've included six different shops in here so six different bags is what we're going to be making i'm only going to do one show you in just as, as a demonstration in this video but i'll make all six so we're going to focus on the orange transfer uh it's not paper it's like a transfer vinyl so we're going to focus on that one because i'm doing the weasley's wizard wheezes bag we're going to do green and orange because you know that's kind of like a weasley's wizard wheezes color scheme so first of all you do want to wash and iron your bag first so if you're using a Cricut cutting machine and transfer vinyl like I am, first things first, we're going to want to attach this to one of the sticky mats before it goes into your Cricut. If you've used Cricut, you're familiar with what I'm talking about. So I was confused. I'd never done this before, and I was kind of confused. So I just want to go over a couple of things so you guys aren't don't go through the, the little headache that I went through. So I assumed that it was going to cut all the way through the vinyl and then I would use like a transfer uh, adhesive to transfer it over and then iron it down. That's not the case. Um, for this, it only goes through half. And no matter what setting I put it on, it wouldn't go through the whole thing. I think they kind of designed the, the uh, reverse side of this so that it just it can't really be cut very easily. And you are going to want to check the box before you do the cut that says mirror. That way it's mirrored. You don't, you don't want to like right now, if you open up the templates, they're the right way. You want them to be reversed. So you want, it, you want them to be flipped and backwards. So to cut on the correct side, when you get your roll and you take this out, you want it so that the side with the color is facing down on your sticky mat. Uh, if it's got color on both sides, you want the shiny side down. Another way to do it is you can see how it's curled where it's been on the roll the side that is uh, like would be on the outside of the roll, that's the side you want down when you do the cut. So I've already done my cut here. I've already sent this through my Cricut. Take one of these corners, again with this side down, so the same way as when we cut it, and we're going to put a small incision <laughs> right here. And you don't wanna go all the way through. Like you just wanna go part of the way through so that you can get a hold of this vinyl and peel it off. Let's see. Let's see if I did that. Yeah, correctly. Okay, so here, yeah, it's it's coming off. So the vinyl, as you can see, it just kind of peeled off of the clear part. So we're just going to kind of use your fingernail to grab some of that. You can also use this Cricut tool right here. It has like a bit of a, a hook. I don't know exactly what this tool is called, but you can use that to get under it as well. There we go. Now this should be easier to peel. So then we're just going to peel this off and here it goes. Okay. 
don't get impatient with it. You got to take it kind of piece by piece and just peel it off. You don't want to disturb the cut that's in there because this is the shape we're going to be transferring onto our bag. And now we're going to do what is called weeding. And yes, it's just as annoying as weeding your garden. We need to get all of these little pieces out from like the inside of the A and between the letters and stuff. There are pieces there that need to come off. So we're going to use this tool and I guess it's probably called the weeding tool now that I think about it. We're going to use this tool to sort of grab that stuff and peel it off. Also, before you do this, you're probably going to want to start your iron just to get it heating up. So um, as you're doing this, you want your iron to be on like a medium high. I have mine set to cotton and I honestly don't know much about the ironing temperatures and what the settings are. Um, I just kind of made a guess. Okay, now we have weeded this and it's ready to go. The side that is clear is actually sticky. So when we can center this where we want it on our bag and then we will stick it down. I mean, it's not super sticky, but it's enough that it's going to kind of kind of hold it in some places. So there we go. Now I've got my iron here ready to go. Since this is a bigger thing, we're going to want to do it in multiple places, obviously. So we're going to want to press and iron in patches and each each place probably count to about 30, 30 seconds or so while you just lightly press it down. And I can see it didn't, the corner up here didn't go down. So we're gonna just keep going until that is all down. Looks like that corner is down. Then we'll go here, about 30 seconds there too. All right, I think I've got it all now but I just want to make sure that it's sticking and it is. I'm just testing the corner of it here. Now what we want to do is flip it over so it's face down and we're going to just iron the back of it just like this. We're just going to kind of push and pull back and forth very slowly. That's once and a second time this way basically like I said we're just going back and forth two times and then a third time very slowly and then move down and do it again right here okay now we want to just let this sit and cool off for a few minutes um, you want to be able to peel this off when the uh, when this is not super hot to touch like right now that's that's pretty hot um, so anyways while we wait for that to cool down um, there is another way you can do this if you're using a Cricut to do this and the vinyl transfer um, you could probably even do this just with a shirt transfer paper even if you're not using a Cricut but Cricut has something called a heat transfer press basically you tell it what you're doing what the fabric is and what material you're using and it tells you the temperature and the time you need to do this and it's a it's a press so you just close it or not close it but you set it and press it down on top and you push a button and it counts the time down and then the timer stops and you take it off so it's a lot easier than using an iron okay that feels better okay so now this is the moment of truth I'm gonna start peeling very carefully and it should have transferred over. So far, so good. I know it's worked, but I'm so nervous right now. It feels like it's just gonna peel off, but it's not. It's just the plastic is the thing that's peeling off, but it feels like it's gonna peel the vinyl right off of it too. There it is, looks good. Yeah, looks nice. I like that. I like how it turned out and it's flexible. Um, this vinyl that I got, the color that is here, they only had like the Sport Flex vinyl 
in this color. So this one might feel a bit different than my other vinyls, but it can be, you know, stretched a bit and it's not going to warp or anything. But there is our Weasley's Wizard Wheezes bag. Let me know what you guys thought. I think this was an easy method and it turns out looking really good. So if you have a Cricut, I definitely suggest doing this. Let's go ahead and do the rest of these. And there we go. We have a Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, which we just made. And then here are the others. We've got Dervish and Bangs, Ollivanders, and this is not black, this is navy blue. It looks kind of black in the camera. Right here we have Flourish and Blots, Honey Dukes, and my personal favorite, Borgen and Burks. I think this one turned out really good. Okay. So that's all of the designs that I have in this video, and I will be giving away one of these bags. Uh, whoever wins gets to choose which one they want. So that giveaway link is in the description box below if you're interested. And down there you will also find my 70k giveaway. We're approaching 70k very quickly, so if you want to win the Accio Box book covers that I created, and they were exclusive to Accio, no longer available anywhere unless you buy them from somebody who got them from Accio. That giveaway is coming up very soon. That giveaway also includes the Harry Potter book series that these covers fit, which is the first edition American hardbacks. So if you're interested in that giveaway, it's also in the description box below. And speaking of giveaways, I have winners to announce from last month's giveaways. The winner of the Marauder's Map is Evie Timpola. The Defense Against the Dark Arts book goes to Hesley Sinanen, and the winner of the Quidditch campsite map is Yasmin Riki Yosef. Congratulations to all of the winners. I've sent each one of you uh, an email with instructions on how you can claim your prizes, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.